and they're off. Racing for the 2013 Lady Dudley Cup men's open race. And heading on towards the first, it is Malaton who shows it in front. As they reach the first of 19 fences, Malaton is over ahead to Ida Payant over the phone. And then Divine Intervention, who usually front runs, but is not doing that today. And then chases Sybarite, as for the first time they make a left-handed turn and an uphill climb back into the home straight. And Malaton is a little way ahead of the remainder at the moment, held up at the back end of the field of both Water Laugh and Keenan's Future. As they now gallop on towards fence at number two, where they will take a three in total in the home straight, two before the winning post. Malaton in the hands of Henry Phillips is showing the way here and is out in front by the best part of five or six lengths. To over the phone, he's going to take it in second. Malaton was quite careful at it. Over the phone, uh, back in second place, and then Divine Intervention, who races quite keenly, down along the inside in the yellow colours in third, with Ida Pay in the purple and yellow close-up in fourth. They're being chased through by Sybarite as they come to tackle the one in front of us. And in behind Sybarite, the green sleeves and cap, red and white jacket of Water Love, who is held up here, and also at the back is Keenan's future in the light blue. As they move on past the winning post now, they have a couple of circuits still ahead of them, and Malaton is showing in front. Malaton reaches the next and jumps it well by four to Over the Phone, who is racing in at second spot, another two lengths away to Divine Intervention, second to Salsify in the CGA Fox Hunters chase at the Cheltenham Festival last time. And he's running along pretty clean, keenly with the uh, choke out here, uh, with Mark Wall straining the reins as the leader Malaton puts himself right over the next. In behind Divine Intervention, running in fourth is Ida Pay, another two lengths away to the Five-timer seeking Sybarite in the green and white colours at the back end, and then What a Laugh and Keenan's Future. And between first and last at this stage, the best part of 10 or 12 lengths as they now head on towards the first open ditch in the race, and Malaton striding out well to it. Jumps it nicely to over the phone in second, Divine Intervention was back in third. Tackling the fence in fourth was Ida Pay, and then chases Sybarite, who's in the green. And then two or three lengths away to the nose banded What a Laugh down along the inside of Keenan's Future. So galloping on through the first uh, three quarters of a mile and uh, heading on now towards the second and third fences going down the back. And uh, Malaton has built up a pretty handy advantage for himself here, the 13-year-old in the hands of Henry Phillips. So was quite careful over that fence, but safe enough. And all of the others have jumped in okay in behind. So galloping on now towards the uh, third one going down the back, the last one down here, Malaton in front, came up out of the rider's hands there to over the phone who landed in second, and then over towards the inside in third is Divine Intervention, Sybarite, the market leader is travelling nicely in fourth, and then Ida Pay from Keenan's Future, and What a Laugh is at the back. So no mishap, no really uh, uh, interesting moments of the race thus far. They've all been going along pretty well within themselves. And coming up over the next, it is Malaton who jumps it well and is still clear. All of the others are coming up and over it safely enough as they now make the journey uphill and left-handed into the home straight. And they're now reaching the halfway point. Swinging the turn back towards home for the first time, or the second time, and on the run now towards their next uh, jumping test, which is going to be number 10 all told. Downhill they freewheel towards it, and uh, showing the way it is Malaton. Malaton by about uh, eight or nine lengths to the yellow jacket of Divine Intervention, and then over the phone a close-up third from Sybarite, who races in fourth as the leader. Malaton eyes up the next fence, and uh, jumps it again quite carefully to Divine Intervention, and over the phone in the blue sleeves is now edging much closer to the leader, and a little gap then of about four lengths back to Sybarite from What a Laugh, Keenan's Future, and Ida Pay. This will be the last fence in one more circuit of the track, and Malaton is coming back to them. They're all over it safely enough. They have a complete circuit of Chattersley Corbett left ahead of them in the 2013 Lady Dudley Cup Men's Open Race. Very kindly sponsored by Fisher German and out in front. It is Malaton who's made every yard of the running to this point, but he's now joined on the outside by Over the Phone. The Cheltenham Fox Hunters runner-up, Divine Intervention, in the hands of Mark Wall, is only a half length away and is nipping through along the inside, looking quite menacing. The horse is still taking a tug. A two and a half length break to the favourite Sybarite in the green, who's back in fourth as Divine Intervention has run out. Divine Intervention has run out of the next fence and has given Mark Wall a pretty nasty looking tumble there. So a dramatic moment as they set out onto the final circuit. Good to see Mark Wall get to his feet. No doubt he'll be absolutely gutted about that. And Divine Intervention is out of the Lady Dudley Cup in a most dramatic style.
It is over the phone now by half a length to Malaton as they come to the final open ditch. Sibirite will take that a length away in third. A mistake further back in the field there by Water Love, who was overtaken clearly by the pale blue colours of Keenan's future. And the back marker is Ida Pay as they gallop on now inside the final mile of their journey. It is over the phone, who's showing up in front here by about a length to Sibirite in the green jacket on the outside. Malaton has now dropped to third. Keenan's future running a big race is in fourth. Two and a half lengths further away to Waterlaugh, and then Ida Payers over the phone jumps that well. Is a length and a half to the good now to Sibirite in a second position as they continue their forward progress on towards the fourth last fence. Over the phone is out in front, jumped it well a length clear to Sibirite back in second. Keenan's future is in third. Then the long-time leader, Malaton who's now been shuffled back to fourth. You can make that fifth as What a Laugh now starts to engage and uh, get into the race now. He's moving into fourth place and uh, they've now shrugged off the remainder as they head towards the third from home. Half a mile left to go in the Lady Dudley Cup and up and over that one. Over the phone hardly took off and Sibirite has now taken the lead but is driven along to stay there. So Sibirite is out in front by two and a half lengths as they gallop on uphill and left-handed. Over the phone is back in second spot and still appears to have something to give. What a Laugh has moved through into third place and travels well and then in fourth is Keenan's future and the winner now should be coming from this quartet as they're in line for home and galloping on down towards the second last. Sibirite is out in front in the Lady Dudley cut by a length but what a laugh in the noseband is breezing through along his inside. Approaching two out, Sibirite was joined by what a laugh. Over the phone is back in third as they now race on down towards the final fence. Sibirite in the green with the white stars to what a laugh. What will he find over to the inside? The final fence jump could be critical. Here it comes, what a laugh and Sibirite, nothing between them over the last. Sibirite up the near side has found a little bit more from in second, what a laugh and Sibirite responds just that bit better and Lady Dudley Cup glory is his. Sibirite goes on to win the Lady Dudley from what a laugh in second, a cracking race between the two, over the phone in third, Keenan's future in fourth.